Welcome to the next video on compiler design. In this video, we are going to talk about why we need to do left factoring a grammar for top down parser. And one question has been asked in the BTEC fifth semester BBU exam for compiler design subject that why we need to do left factoring a grammar for top down parser and then remove left recursion from the given grammar so let us answer this question need of left factoring let us recall what exactly is a left factor property when a non-terminal has two or more production in a grammar g is equal to v t p s and all the productions have a common prefix grammar symbols the grammar is said to have left factor property formally we have defined earlier also a grammar has a left factoring property if there exists some alpha belonging to positive closure of v union t such that there exist productions of the form a is rewritten as alpha beta 1 alpha beta 2 till alpha beta n and you can see here alpha is the common prefix repeating in all these productions so if we consider this production the alpha is common for all the productions in top down parsing if you remember what happens we try to derive the string from the start variable okay so while deriving a string one would not know which productions to substitute because alpha is common in all these production rules so lot of backtracking is involved and therefore the top down parser should consider the action of parsing after left factoring the grammar okay now coming on to the second part of the question that is removal of left recursion from the given grammar here if you consider the grammar as four tuple representation g is equal to vtps the production rules are these and the variable is a the terminal set is consisting of a b c and d and a is the start variable if you remember if we are having production rules of the form a is rewritten as a alpha a delta and a is rewritten as beta and gamma these are the a productions left recursive one and these are the non a production then by introducing a new variable a prime we have removed this left recursion how a is rewritten as beta a dash and gamma a dash and again a dash is rewritten as alpha a dash delta a dash and epsilon so consider the given grammar a is rewritten as a c a a d and b d comparing with these rules we can have this as alpha as delta and beta so we will introduce a new non-terminal a prime or a dash having these productions a is rewritten as beta a dash so b d a dash and a dash is rewritten as alpha that is c a dash and then delta a dash that is a d a dash and then epsilon so you have removed the left recursion from the given grammar in this way we have solved the question 
थैंक यू फॉर वाचिंग